Okay, today we're going to talk about percent yield. It's another example that you're going to have to use stoichiometry, but here's your formula. The actual amount of product over a theoretical amount of product times 100. That'll give you your percent yield. So we've got to look at what actual amount is. The actual amount is actually how much you're going to produce in the experiment when you do it. Theoretical amount is maximum amount that could be obtained and you do that with a mass to mass calculation. Again, this is when we have our stoichiometry problems. Okay, so we're going to start with the given mass and we're going to convert it all the way to the mass that we should be able to obtain. Um, the theoretical amount is basically never obtained in a lab because there's always some source of error. So we'll look at how to use this formula with this example. So it says, the burning of 18 grams of carbon produces 55 grams of carbon dioxide. Calculate the percent yield of the reaction. Notice we have two different masses, different than the limiting reactants, because before we talked about limiting reactants, if you had two masses, it was a limiting reactant problem. In this case, we have 18 grams that we're starting with, and it's telling us that we're producing a certain amount. So our first thing is we're going to have to write a balanced equation. So we have carbon reacting with oxygen. It's O2 because it's a diatomic element. And it's telling us that we're going to produce carbon dioxide. We can look and see that it's balanced. So we don't have to use any coefficients. So all of these are one mole. Now, we're starting with 18 grams of carbon. So I'm just going to write 18 grams of carbon here. And we're trying to figure out how many of grams of carbon dioxide we can produce. This is our theoretical mass once we find it. We're just going to abbreviate it. So we're going to do a mass to mass problem. 18.0 grams of carbon, again, straight from carbon to carbon dioxide. 12.0 grams of carbon is one mole of carbon. Remember, this is always going to be a 1. Anytime you, anytime you get mass off the periodic table, it's always 1 mole. Now we're going to do a mole to mole ratio from carbon to carbon dioxide. 1 mole of carbon is 1 mole of carbon dioxide. Remember, this is our mole ratio. And this is the only time that you can have more than 1 mole. So if it was a 2 to 1, we would have put a 2 here. Now we're converting from moles of carbon to grams. We have one mole of CO2 is 44.0 grams of CO2. Again, this is from our periodic table because we have one carbon times the 12.0 grams is 12. We have the oxygen, there's two of them, times the 16.0, which gives us our 32. Add it up and we have 44. 0 0.0 grams is equal to our one mole. Multiply everything on the top, divide by the bottom, and you should get 66.0 grams of CO2. Again, this is the theoretical mass. Now we compare it to what we got in the lab. It says that it produces 55 grams of CO2. Using our formula, we're going to take the actual amount that we got in the lab, which is the 55 grams, over our theoretical 66.0 grams times 100. Put that into your calculator and you should get 83.3% as our percent yield.